Well, there's a lot going on in health professions at SDSU. Of course, we have nursing, which is really our, our, our college of nursing. That's what we do, and we do it well. But we also have a college of pharmacy and allied health professions that includes not only pharmacy and the PharmD, but medical laboratory science, as well as a master in public health program that is collaborative with the University of South Dakota. And then we have dietetics, uh, exercise science, athletic training. So we have multiple health professions that we prepare. So there's been a concern, you know, off and on over the 30 years, 35 years that I've been practicing in Brookings about enough nurses being trained. And some years, oh my goodness, we're way behind. And then some years we've got enough. I'm wondering where we're at right now. Well, if you think about the population demographic that's growing the fastest, those who are 85 years and older, and that won't change for at least two decades, we know that nurses are going to be very much in demand. I did receive information from a national study that's done every five years um, at a recent conference. It's not out yet, but there is a tidal wave coming. In, in fact, it's already there, the shortage. So talk about the different advanced practice nursing roles. What are there? Well, advanced practice registered nurses are graduate prepared with a graduate degree, either a master's or a doctoral degree. There are four roles for advanced practice registered nurses. A nurse practitioner, the one that's most familiar to people, and there are multiple specializations. And then clinical nurse specialists, you know, that was such a great role for the acute care system and for transitions to primary care. It started you know, in the 70s. Um, advanced practice nurses who are CNSs are integrated into primarily larger health systems and acute care settings. Then there are certified registered nurse anesthetists now prepared at the doctoral level and of course certified nurse midwives. Well in terms of research nurse scientists have been around for about 60 years. Okay so there's the scientist nurse, there's an education nurse too, mm -hmm. is there not? Explain that. Well, we can't have a health care workforce without the educators who prepare them. Think of all the health care professions. Nursing has led the way with preparing health professions educators because we've, we've needed to. But South Dakota codified law actually specifies that in order to be an instructor or a faculty member in nursing, you have to have a master's degree or a graduate degree in the discipline. We also have online options that are accessible from a distance in this vast rural state. The healthcare workforce in nursing cannot meet demands if we don't prepare enough nurse educators. And nurse educators and the administrators in nursing are uh, at the forefront of a national shortage as well. So it's synergistic 